clever, clever. <laughs> then he came out with Ashanti. Yeah. So he had Ja Rule on the charts, number one everything, till 50 came. Then Ashanti was number one, going number one on everything. Like, you, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't take that from um, uh, no. Irv Gotti. Irv, no, you cannot. But then he got the Fed case. He had the Fed case with, what's his name, with Supreme. He beat that. They beat the feds. So once he beat the feds, now you really the nigga now. When you beat the feds, you the nigga. Yeah. Because no one beats the feds. So he beats the feds, comes back out. But when he beat the feds, 50 already, them niggas just was stepping on him already. Yeah. So it was over. It was over. He came back out to nothing. Now he did this new deal for like um, $200 million with like this investor from uh, Europe. Some investor gave him like two hundred and fifty million dollars. He's, he's a smart man. So he's chilling. He lives in Miami at the fucking one of the, uh, the at the Fountain Blue. He lives on the top floor at Penthouse. the Fountain Blue. <laughs> How you live at the Fountain Blue? Right. <laughs> Where we go to vacate at? Yo. The Niggas can't even get past loose. the twentieth floor. Going to pool parties and shit. <laughs> that nigga lives in the penthouse at the Fountain Blue in Miami. 